Hey guys, it's Jamie, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this Lauren DIY inspired friendship bracelet. She just came out with this, and I'm super excited. The only thing is, though, hers was like $65 Canadian, and I didn't have that kind of money, so I decided I was going to make my own. So to start off, since we're trying to make it like super cheap, because otherwise you might as well buy hers, um, because she does support the um, people like making them, so we're going to use Play-Doh um, instead of clay. But if you have clay, you can totally use that. So I just sketched out a um, little cactus with the these little tweezer things and then I just let it dry and kind of softened up the edges a little bit and waited for it to dry. I also poked a hole at the top so then we could put a little pin through the top and while filming this video I realized why I don't make bracelet tutorials because I really suck at it. So half this video um, I'm kind of like messing up but I will show you how to actually do it. So you're gonna start off this first one by taking a little bit of um, this elastic stuff while we're waiting for that other thing to dry. So I decided to start making this. So I started with two gold little beads <laughs> and then I went in with uh, 12 white or cream colored beads, kind of whatever you want to do. I kind of switched up the bracelet a little bit, but it's pretty close I feel like. So yeah. So then you're going to put 12 on and then put another two gold ones on and just continue that on until you get to whatever wrist size you have and tie it off. So like I said, Lauren does support people like in other countries making this so she pays so then they pay them good wages and it's not just like done by like um nobody paying them but um yeah so now we're gonna take the next one and it's like the peace sign one and I, this is the closest thing i had to a peace sign you can use that little jump ring whatever you kind of want so i decided to um use this so what you're gonna do is loop some thread through the one side and then just like loop it kind of like i'm showing you here after I ended up deciding to take off that top little jump ring just because I didn't like it and I sanded off the top of it and then I um, added in the thread again so I just redid it and I just made it a little bit longer this time and then you're going to just um, loop it on. So like I said, you can make an actual piece sign like out of clay or something like that but I couldn't really figure out how to do that so I decided to use this instead and yeah so you're just gonna like loop it around and then I decided to use the button to secure it because I don't know how to make the other kinds um so then you're going to put this through kind of like I'm doing here I feel like this is best described as I'm showing you so um, you're gonna tie it off there and then on the other end you're going to put um, a tie like tie a knot and then tie another knot so then the button can fit through and then you can loop it through if that makes any sense so for the next bracelet you're going to take um, some pink thread and I took this color I don't know I thought it was close it's to the bracelet itself so then I wrapped it around my wrist three times and then cut it and then um, cut out three more of those same length of threads and then we're going to start braiding it. So like I was saying before, I kind of switched up the bracelet itself, but you can try and go closer to the actual bracelet if you want, but I just decided to do it this way. I've definitely never been a super big into bracelet making type person, so um, this was kind of already difficult enough for me. So, um, But the next bracelet I'm going to be making, I think it's the next one, anyways, I don't remember, but um, I'm going to link a tutorial down below on a couple different ways of how to make some, so then you can make it with like all different colors and stuff, and then the tutorial I used. So yeah, so here I'm just like braiding it, and this is the one we're going to use the little cactus for. So you're going to want to paint it gold or you can paint it silver but the one that she had was gold so that's just what I decided to go with and I just braided this whole t whole thing and then I found the center point of it by folding it in half so there's a little cactus thing I found the center point by folding it in half and then I made a little like jump ring hoop thing that I realized is out of focus now and so you can't really see anything and it looks really weird so anyways um and then just added it through the braid itself so then I could like so it doesn't like move around so much but then it stays in the one spot so I found the center put it in through there and attached it all together and yeah it's out of focus still and sorry it's kind of grainy I was filming in the nighttime so um yeah sorry about that um I feel like this is like my old videos okay so for the next one this isn't the one I was talking about so anyways I'm going to be making this one and I made this little pattern here and I fit it so then it fit my wrist and this was like the closest thing that I seen on her picture itself um, like on the website of what kind of the pattern was for this one so I decided to just yeah make it like this so I um, tied the end of some stretchy cord looped it through and then I 
that little center thing, you can make something for that, um, but I just decided to go with this little bead. You can try and make one out of hot glue to get it closer to what hers looked like, but this is what I went for, and then I did the exact same thing on the other side and just tied it all together. Okay, so this is the one I was talking about that I was having major issues with because I've never been one for making bracelets and I never really understood them, so that I know it's a great idea for me to make this video um, anyways. So I decided to make this one and it's very simple once you figure it out and I figured it out at the end, so yeah. Um, I, you basically have three different colors and then I just screwed it up in this entire scene, so. Um, and then you have to make like a little four thing and yeah, I'm gonna just leave it linked in the description box below because I feel like that's gonna be easiest um, for you to like watch because I'm not really making any sense at all. But you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit, I guess, but not really. Anyways, um, so also don't forget to check out my second channel because I do have one and I'll have it linked in the description box below. Also don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications because I've been uploading quite a bit, I feel like. Not really, kind of. Anyways, I'd like to upload more, but I've just been kind of busy doing stuff, so um, I want to upload more. So don't forget to turn on your notifications so then you can see when I upload. And now I'm just like yapping about random stuff. So um, yeah, so that's basically it. So I just made it like this. And then I did the same thing with like the button technique, um, if you want to call it that, anything. Anyways, um, and you can just do it like with the button or you can use one of those ones like she did for the clasp and I'll have a uh, video linked below on how to do that but I decided to just go with the button one because it was easier um, so I just tied a knot at the end of it added the button and that is it for the bracelets so I think they're actually turned out pretty decent for um, me not knowing what the heck I was doing um, and I just really like how they turned out so if you guys do too um, give this video a thumbs up and in no way am I trying to say like don't buy Lauren's bracelets because I think her bracelets are amazing but I just couldn't afford her bracelets so I decided to make it so yeah anyways that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed and I keep saying the same thing so um, thanks for watching bye